All right, so my friends, uh, hi. We're playing Tron. We're playing Zoomertron. I know. I've been a big proponent of uh, Boomertron uh, as the default Tron deck of choice. Uh, I've been a long holdout against Karn the Great Creator. I think his card is not very good. I think it is uh, very hard to defend in decks like this. And, uh, you know, you kind of ramp into it, but it kind of just dies. Very reliant on Snaring Bridge. Um, I don't know. But, you know what? I think it's important to sometimes step out of your comfort zone and uh, and try try new things. So, I'm going to be playing a Zoomertron list right now with Karn the Great Creator. Uh, this is the list that Lord of Punt Lantis took to a 5-0 in a league. Uh, kind of like this. This made looks like a very stock uh, Zoomertron deck. Get our Karn Wish board. Uh, we got our Ulamogs. Two Ulamogs, one Embercool, two Ugans. No Thrag Tusks anywhere in the entire list. Uh, two Manic Relics, Manic O Stones. Three Warping Whales. We'll see how that plays out. But yeah. Uh, so we're going to give it a spin. And we're going to see. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm right. I don't know. But not a fan of Card the Great Creator. We're going to see how it goes. And uh, that's really all there is to say about it. So let's get into the games brought to you by Colas Apparel. Colas Apparel. Dot shop. I'm wearing it today. Super awesome shirts. Super comfortable. Great designs. They have stickers now. They have hoodies now. And uh, you name it, they got it. Carlos Apparel. Dot shop. The playmats now. There's like 50 different designs at this point. We got sponsored shirts from myself and other great content creators. Uh, it's just a bomb. Check it out. Carlos Apparel. Dot shop. Uh, again, promo code Jim10. 10% off your order. Carlos Apparel. Dot shop. All right. Zoomer time. No Tron lands. Uh, it's pretty rare you draw a, a hand in Tron. With two lands and no Tron lands, but... It's so funny. Alright, so we're going to mulligan. Mulligan down to... Uh, yeah, we can keep this. So this is my concern with Karn, is that, like... Is it a good enough payoff? You know, like, so we're going to keep this. I'm going to ship a tower, I think. So turn three Tron. We have Karn plus something. Um, we'll see. You know, because the deck is more reliant on Karn, it's more reliant on Snaring Bridge, and therefore it's it's less reliant on creatures. So the Worm Coils, um, there are Worm Coils in this deck, right? Yeah, two Worm Coils, uh, no, no, so two Worm Coils and no Thrag Test, so less attacking happening here. So you have you as a hedge against like a Blood Moon or something like that, and uh, they're going to Bobble us. Tron, 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 and they're going to draw, sure. So we go. Power plant map. Go. You yeah, spell pierce me? Please don't. Oh my god. Oh, resolve. Okay. They got an island though. Um, we might be getting Blood Moon here. I think the Merc Tide decks are moving back to Blood Moon because of all the five color decks. So, but I have a Sage use. It's fine, I guess. Warping Whale. Play Tower. So they go. No one or two drop. I think Merc Tide. If they have their good, like, Ragavan on the, on the play draw, it can be tough. But if they don't, I think it's fine for us. Blood Moon or nah? I want Island Blood Moon? Yeah, absolutely. Look at that. So, no problems here. Go get our, uh, get our mine. Play a forest. Kill the Blood Moon. Main deck Blood Moon? Yeah, whatever. Whatever. Play Bobble, sure. Do your thing. All right, so untap and play forest and say go. And now I get to Karn for something. Sundering Titan, it's like here too. Play iteration, do your thing. Is Mono Green Tron still viable? Um, yeah, it's more of a fringe deck now, but lucky first game. Why is it lucky? Shredder. The Shredder. Alright, so we're going to fire up the old Beseju, get rid of the Blood Moon. Get off my plane. They get an untapped land, which is a little annoying, but. Uh, untap, and we complete our Tron. So now we have seven mana total. Karn can get uh, Titan, Ballista, Trinisphere is actually pretty interesting against them. Because they are playing a lot of cheap spells. Uh, the thing is, I get transfer. Really, the thing is, my problem with Karn is that that you you play it, it does something, but then you can't necessarily. It just dies, you know. So you play Karn here, and then like then what? Play Karn. We minus it, and we go get. Trinisphere seems pretty good. Um, 
All I guess we, do, we can wail the Shredder too. We can't wail the Shredder and play Transfer though. And now we can't wail. I said I should have wailed first, I guess. But then we're, then we're, then we're playing. We're like, then we're not playing card and doing anything. Maybe, maybe maybe I was wrong. Maybe I should have actually, yeah, wailed the Shredder, and then played Karn and gotten like the the Sundering Titan or something like that. Maybe that's better. Hmm. Needle Crypt Orb Trinisphere. Could plus. Uh, then it just dies to heat though, which is also not cool. Um. Mm. We minus it goes to three, and it gets bolted. Hmm. Stupid, stupid Karn. Coding isn't, the thing is, coding doesn't do anything. It just, like, it kills one land a turn very slowly. That's, like, that's, like, not even good either, you know? Like, if it's just an Ugin or a Thragtusk here, I'm, like, super happy, you know? Or a Wormcoil or whatever. Um, we can just get, you just get Titan and then you just counter it. If we get Crypt, it turns off the, it turns off the, uh, the Graveyard for Murktide and for Heat. But they can still probably kill the card anyway. If you will on upkeep, it just cast two spells and, and fizzle it. Yeah. Um. Hmm. I wish I had a relic in the board. I'm much happier to relic than I would be to descript them. All right. Let's be crypt. I also respond to the Kanaev too, I guess. That works too as well. So let's do this. Let's do this. Let's, let's go play Tormont's Crypt. Kanaev triggers. And then I respond with Warping Whale. Let's exile this. This is better. And then that goes away. They Kanaev. I Crypt them. I play Sphere. Crack for green. And say go. They discard a Murktide. And then uh, put this like here maybe. Here, sure. And then we play Sphere, make green, draw a mine, and then crypt you, and then say go, I guess. So, not the best uh, hand. Our Blast Zone's not bad either, though, because it just stops some of their threats. So, Kanaev sounds like when you pronounce the K in knife. You're saying it wrong. It's Leviosa. They have Dragon Rage Channeler, Expressive Iteration. Need to watch for a Counterspell next turn, but I have Blast on to kill the Channeler, which is sweet. So that's kind of cool. Tron, 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 Tron. Let me see that. Tron, Tron, Tron. Crack Delta. Get a red. Dash Ragavan. Attack me or Karn, though. Attacking me. What are they gonna hit though? All my cards suck. <laughs> no, a star! That's so that's good. Alright. Lucky them. Hit my sphere, three cards in hand. Now they're out of mana though. I just get freaking What's it called? And get them. Just like go get a uh, Sundering Titan. Do the thing. Lose our green, but whatever. They're just... Game. Sure. Blouses. Alright, so. We're going to want to bring in, not much, I guess. They do have uh, the Blood Moon, so maybe like two claims. And then Kozlek is interesting too, because he's getting its counter spells. I would say the Relics are good, the O Stones are pretty good, the Whales are fine. Uh, Ugin's like only okay against them. I could see shaving Ugin's. It's very bad against Murktide, and it's, not, it's okay against the Ones, but like not great. And maybe we shave, like, I don't think Emrakul's super great either. Because they can't really remove it, I suppose. Bring two claims Karn, Wormcoil, Whale, uh, Seiju. Hmm. Wormcoil, Karn, 
Double Ulamog. Yeah, Emrakul. Emrakul kind of costs a lot. Yeah, just get rid of Emrakul. Let's do this. I'm in. I know. It's, it's blasphemy. I'm playing I'm playing Karn the Great Creator right now. I'm trying it, though. We're Zoomer trying. We're giving it a spin. All right? I could be wrong. Who knows? Rockstar Resub. Thanks so much. First thing, hit the follow button. Watch YouTube. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. What's up? All right. So, I uh, have it open here. It sucks. We're going to mulligan. Only one Tron land. It does have Relic for Murkdai, which is kind of cool. But we're going to mulligan this. Can't keep this seven. Oh, my God. All right, this is a lot worse. Uh, going to six. I'm going to five, I mean. Mull, mull, mull. All right, we'll, we're, we're going to keep this one. We do. Have, we just have land stirrings. Star. Scrying. Yeah, we keep this. We're going to ship uh, the, ma the matching land and the sphere. So we have worst case scenario, turn one, land, star, stirring. which is pretty good. Dragon Rage Channeler, Mishra's Boogle. Keeps the card on top, though. Who keeps the card on top? It's fine. Yeah, it's not great, but it's fine. O Stone. All right, so we're going to star and take out. <laughs> Card's back. Looking for more Bagel Bites. Attack for one, say go. Um, and we draw another power plant. <sighs> it's a power plant at the bottom of our library, too. It's sick. All right, so make green. Try and draw a Tron Lance and not power plant. Can we do it? We cannot do it. So now let's have the cast stirrings. They might counter it. If they do, we'll play forest. Say go. Counter spell, sure. Let's play forest. Say go. So, yeah, it's not very good, but whatever. We'll figure it out. Definitely, uh, countering Storings there is pretty uh, pretty heads up, I think. Because the Storings goes five cards deep, almost assuredly finds a, a, a second Tron land. It makes our hand really solid. Uh, but now, if we've been forced to play a non-Tron land, hand's pretty awkward. Iteration, it gives them Delirium. It's in for three. Uh, no land, though. Unfortunately, we just, like, don't have anything else. So, we gotta, like, scrying for a random Tron land here. It's the thing you never want to do, but you just... What are you gonna do, you know? And then we'll, uh, say go. Missed the land on iteration. They exiled a Mystical Dispute. So, they have five cards in hand. Assumedly all, uh... All spells. Flying Grease up. Thanks so much. You're great. We're 944 subscribers here in the middle of September. Ooh. Discount subs. They hit my uh, my car and probably not playing that one. So we draw a Worm Coil Engine. That's not great. Uh, we are going to play an Oblivion Stone. Just say go. Blech. Sure. I mean, holding up Warping Well to try and hit the Ragavan is like, eh, whatever. I mean, like, the thing is, like, them wasting two mana to Ragavan every turn is kind of fine, so let's just resolve our, uh, our O Stone. What do y'all think? Are they going to reprint the Tron lands in, Bro in Brothers War? Keep Mulligan. What do you think they're going to do? Tron lands in Brothers War. That's a YouTube comment of the day. End step, bolt me. Surveil. Bin consider. Listen, folks, I played standard when Tron lands were legal. All right, that was, my, that was my first Pro Tour ever. That was Pro Tour Honolulu 2006. It was an Is It Tron deck, topping out on cards like Kaiga of a Tide Star and Maloku the Clouded Mirror. Very powerful deck. Was it the best deck then? No, not even close. It was like marginally playable. Look at this. This is a pretty, pretty aggro draw. A couple bolts here. They got me. All right, sure. 
Go to game three. All right, so we're going to go to uh, game three on the play. Going to keep it as is. On the play. Companion. Mulligan. We do have Mind Stirring Star, which I do like, honestly. Let's turn one, turn one star, turn two, crack it stirrings. I have seven looks at a Tron land. Play Tron land, play map. It's not bad, honestly. Um, on the draw, I'd never keep this because they, they could have a, they could counter my, my stirrings again, but on the play, I'm going to keep. I'm not thrilled about it, but I'm going to keep. Keeping seven, even a seven that's not ideal is very strange in, in Trump, but I think this is fine. I also have extra maps to get a forest if we need to for Blood Moon, so. Alright, so we have mine, we get star, ship it, and we get seven looks at a second Tron land. Why would they make the Urza Meld cost exactly seven mana if they weren't printing Tron lands, right? I want to believe. Stirrings. Green. That's what's one look. This is two looks. Please, God, don't spell pierce me. We missed it our first... Oh, my God. Please don't. We missed it our first two looks. Oh, God, don't. Please, no. Well, that's the game. Thanks for playing, I guess. I don't know how many self pierces that Murktide plays, but that was the uh, that was the risk, I suppose. And uh, we also missed we bricked in our two draws too. Brutal. They're gonna dash Ragavan. People dash Ragavan way too much. There's no way dashing Ragavan is right here. Just freaking play it. Like you're gonna spend two mana every turn for the rest of the game to keep dashing Ragavan. Just play it. Like miss it. We miss again. Oh my god. All right. Uh. Play star, say go. Yeah, I mean, it was a. I mean, maybe it's just Mulligan, honestly. You should never keep seven if it's not perfect in Tron. They have Blood Moon, too, no? All right. Now they have Blood Moon, sure. All right, well, Pollen's Hand is about as perfect as it can be. And uh, we are incapable of drawing a land. So, up oh, there's a forest. All right, sure. So, let's cast a Stirrings. And find ourselves a Urza's Tower. And then we will play the tower. And we'll play, I think, Relic and try and eat this graveyard to not just slow down a Merc Tide. Let's take up. Is it good to keep Spellbears matchup? Yeah, I think so. Like, I mean, obviously it can go dead, but like the important turns of the game are the early turns, and it's very good there, so. They hit my Worm Coil again? Sure. We, um, let's see. Tap three? No. Yes, no. Yes. Just say go. Blast zone. Blast you. All right. So we're going to just play, uh, play land. Scrying gets Besaju. We can just, like, play forest, cast Scrying, they counter it, play map. Dispute, sure. Don't pay three. Play map. So you go. So you can map for Besaju. Kill the Blood Moon. So you're on the Sylvan Scrying art? I have no idea, but I like it because it's the first printing art. So they hit a card. They can always cast the card at this point, which is pretty kind of gross, but. Uh, we were untapping. We were drawing an Urza's Mine. That's not quite what we're looking for. Um. Yeah, Thrag Dusk all day here. I I miss Thrag Dusk. Give me my give me my Thrag Dusk back, please. Against Blood Moon, you just, you just Thrag Dust them, you know, it's great. Exile Spell Pierce. Uh we get to get Besaju. Um Let's Play Urza's Mind, just say go, I guess. 
Let's just say go. Let's end step, get Passage, we kill the Blood Moon. Yes, if we play Blast Zone because of Blood Moon, it'll come to put zero counters on it, which is not great. Attack for one. Let's get Besage you now so they don't get lucky and hit, 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 hit with the Ragavan. Just like, that would be really, really embarrassing. Get Besage you. Take the two. And they hit a Sylvan Scrying. Powerful. What's up, King of the Ice Age? First time chatter. Let's hear it for King of the Ice Age, please. The plan of the Blood Moon, sure. Um. Now we don't even bother to play uh the iterate, sure. I'm I'm playing the open tomorrow, yeah. See, this is where I we should want Thrag So if I, if I just untap and cast Thrag Dusk, we probably win this game. You know, like so if I draw a card on the great creator, what, what, what do we do? So they exile a Ragavan, and they say go. So now we're not even gonna bother the Sage Ring, because they just have two blood moons anyway. So we'll just crack this uh relic and draw. Let's see what we draw. Sphere, sure. Untap and draw. Thanks, Danger. Appreciate it. All right, so we draw Tron. We're not there yet, obviously. We get to uh, just start sphering. A green. Draw Karn. Play map. I should put star, actually. That's stupid. Whatever. Play land. Play star. And just there you go. They've got four cards in hand. Uh, we're probably dead here, but we'll see. Tiger Agaban. They hit uh, an Ursus Tower. Play Iteration, yada, yada, yada. How many moons do they have? Usually it's like, it's like two, right? And in a braid? So they can abrade something? That doesn't really work. <laughs> Nothing to abrade here. So another whiff on iteration, which is great for us. So end step, make it green. Draw a card, crack the map. Draw a warping whale. So we can't cast warping whale, unfortunately, because we have no colorless lands. So it's kind of annoying. Crap the map and get I guess second forest, I guess. I'd like to draw we could draw a uh, a nature's claim. That'd be cool. Nope. Alright, let's uh let's buy Gigantha and just uh just work that angle, I suppose. They do a lot of mana. So the Ragavan has some pretty nasty hits here. If they hit like a Karn off, my, off the Ragavan, we just lose, but I can't do anything about it, so what do you want from me? They hit a map. They have five cards in hand and seven mana. And they play a Dragon's Rage Channeler. They obviously have Counterspell for my Gigantha. We untap and draw a Chromatic Star. Star me. Can't cast whale as a, a blood moon and blood. All right, so we draw another Urza's mine. I mean, we're just gonna cast Gigantha. They're gonna counter it, I guess. But whatever. Probably dead here. Salty, and they're gonna hard cast this. Three, four, five, six. It was dead. All right. Uh, yeah. I mean, sure. Obviously, they have a million counter spells in their hand because they've cast like four iterations already. So, like, we're super dead. But, yeah. Only one Blood Moon, we're fine this game. But two Blood Moons and uh, Ragavan and two Blood Moons and a spell. We actually missed our second line drop this game, too, which is actually the gross part. So, their hand was basically perfect. Uh, put us to two. <laughs> and they put us to two and they hit Karn off of the uh, other Ragavan. So, sure. Whatever. You got me, right? You win. I give up. So. 
That's <laughs> fine. No big deal. Round two on the play. Gigantha, I choose you. No more devastating spell pierces, please. We got a shitter hand. We're going to mulligan. Get a mulligan into a good hand to keep this. We're going to ship a scrying. Already have Tron, so we're on the play. Get the old Tron skis. Let's do it. What's up, Jones? Yeah, we're Tronning. The only downside is Tron is we're playing freaking Karn the Great Creator, which I don't like. But we're, gonna, we're trying it out. I'm not afraid to admit that I'm wrong. Try things. Polluted Delta. Crack it. Watery Grave. All right, so they have Thoughtseize this year. It's no problem. Bring it on. What do you got? I got Tron. I'll just draw cool stuff. So, they're at 15. Take the sphere. Untap and draw scrying. Super awkward. Is there a world we get forest over getting Tron? I I think we're going to get forest. We'll see, we'll, see what they, we'll see what they do, obviously. But, get forest. Play forest, play scrying. I like to unlock the rest of our hand also, so. Alright. I mean, they could counter the scrying, I guess. But I have two starrings too, so yeah, I'm just going to get forest here. And land, cast Sylvan Scrying. You might drama lock me or something like that, but whatever. We have dub stirrings too, so. Oh, we shadow. Seems reasonable. Yep. Five cards left. Basic Waste does not get hit by Blood Moon. That is the way to have a colorless source through Blood Moon. They play a third Watery Grave. What's going on? Three Watery Graves. Thought Scour. Murktai is a blue-black Murktai deck? Alright. I guess. Thought Scour again. Another Murktai. Play Shadow. Interesting. Um, untap. Draw Oblivion. All right, we need to, we need to, we need to hit, we hit here, folks. Here we go. Looking for Ursus Tower. Pretty bad. Uh, four boom booms, a forest, and a map now we could so we can play the map and not be able to use it or we can play push play the forest and look for get another look for uh i'm gonna do that it kind of sucks but so play forest get another look at a, a tron land here or map or star could also just cast o stone then we can't probably probably can't use it so we, we play we play the the o stone then we can just naturally draw land to use it or we can starings for a tron land they have four cards in hand um I like that better, actually. Let's just play O-Stone. Play O-Stone and so go. Not a good, uh, not a good hand when you know when you have two basic forests and play on turn four, but... Just playing some modern. Some modern. Zoomertron. They are actually just Demir. That's the fourth Watery Grave. Shock down to uh, a 6-6 six, six rate, uh, Shadow, whatever. Get it for six. And tap, and we draw a besage you. So, so now if we cast Starrings and they counter it, uh, they get to <laughs> attack again. Uh, so we're going to play besage you and play a, a third non-tron land. Oh my god, you're killing me here. All right, so they go. Keep Mulligan, Wasteland, and Historic. Um, mega Mulligan. That's not even a discussion. <laughs> Wasteland is, is totally broken. If you get the tower with the wait, with the map, what are you talking about? If you get tower and map, we are none of our none of our cards in hand do anything, and we're not under enough pressure to like want to want to lock our hand out. I think so. All right, so pop this thing the old fashioned way. Four cards in hand. Might play a new threat here. Which, no, no new threat. Wow. Okay. Untap and play stirrings. 
And we hit Map Star Forest Ulamog. Not the best hits here of all time, but they're gonna, we're going to map, they're going to counter it, and then we're going to play. We'll put Gigant in our hand. Just say, oh, it didn't counter it? Sure. Uh, we'll map. Tower. Tower, Gigantha. We also have a uh, an Emrakul next turn, I believe. Emrakul, Emrakul costs 11. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, that's enough. All right, so they go. What the hell's in their hand that they wouldn't counter my map? They go to 6. Untap. 5 cards in hand. Makes all fatal pushes, I guess. Swamp. The Onslaught, Invasion Lands, sweet. Pegasus is on the overlay, as always. Uh, warping Whale. All right, well, uh, what do you say we promise their end, huh? Emrakul. The promised end. They have five fatal pushes in end. Can you cast a spell, gain a control of your opponent during the next turn, and they get an extra turn? Sure. All right, that was a really weird game. They just literally didn't do anything. Um... Our hand panned out horribly, and they just did nothing. So, no sideboarding, because they don't have a sideboard, so we're going to submit the deck again and just fire in. I don't know. Weird game. Can't spell Emrakul without cool. What's up, A-Bomb? I don't agree that, that Karn is good. I am not sold yet. This is a league to try and sell me on this card being good. I think it's horrible, but we're going to find out. I think it's good in other decks, but I think in Tron in particular, it's not enough of a threat and doesn't defend itself well enough. But we'll see. We're trying it out. I'm here. I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay being wrong. You know, give it a spin. Remember, folks, check out my article on CoolStuffInc.com today. Uh, with the, the really amusing, uh, like, bug in the, in the title. So if you go over here, you see uh, our first look at the Brothers War, which is great, right? But for some reason, the apostrophe turns into a question mark uh, on this page. I don't know why. Our first look at the brothers. War! <laughs> so check it out. Um, we got Urza. Oh, we got a, look at that. Urza Planeswalker. You, can't, you, gotta, you gotta look at the article if you missed it. Check it out. Coolstuffinc.com. My articles are, uh, are up every Friday. Check those out. All right. Gigantha, I choose you. Let's go. First look at the brothers. War! Um, all right, so this hand's terrible. We're going to mulligan. This hand is, this is okay. So we once again have like the whole tower sphere stirrings. They are a Thoughtseize deck, but we're on the draw on six and we have a relic also. So like if we stumble a bit, we can at least exile the graveyard and find a land. We have a lot of good draws here. So put back the Ulamog. Yes, yeah, so the abbreviation of this set's bro. Bro. MTG bro. Watergrave. Shock. Thoughtseize. Sure. So, see what they take here. They're a Merktide deck, so the Relic's pretty good. Probably Sphere, I would think. But then we're drawing to, like, seven Spheres or Stars. Other lands. You know. Uh, I think Karn Silix is really bad. You just have O Stone in modern, right? Thought Seize, what's it gonna be? Can't take Urza's Tower. Good lord. What uh What do you think, friend? Karn Silks Limited? I mean it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. It did it did play out kind of okay. We'll be doing limited tomorrow. We'll be playing in the arena open. Uh they're going to take the scrying, not the sphere or the stirrings. Inconceivable! Uh, I'm, I'm floored at that choice. Uh, sure. We're going to play uh, land sphere go. Green open tomorrow is, uh, is limited. Dominaria limited. More Brothers War cards? That's... Oh, Transformers cards? Sure. Scalding Tard, untap. We draw land. So we're gonna uh we're gonna try storings here, they're gonna counter it, and then we're gonna relic. Which is great actually. So make green. Draw O Stone, cast Stirrings. 
This does run a foul of stubborn denial, I suppose. Which is a card they could have in their deck. I think being able to figure out what cards could be in your uh, opponent's modern brew is a good skill to have. Jack, what's up, Jack? Jack says, "What a chance you can get my thoughts on your Tron list." Our right, deck decks are ten bucks. Ten bucks for a deck deck. Be happy to do that for you if you'd like. All right, so there's a drown. We play land. We play relic. Slow down that Merc Tide. Working towards Worm Coil. Yeah, I mean, you can find my Boomer lists on YouTube 10,000 times over. I think Thrakdice is awesome for Worm Coils. Uh, not hard to find. And it hasn't really changed much over the last, like, six months. Grave number three. Shock's down to eight. Four in the bin. They can Merc Tide here. It would be a 5-5, five five, which is not particularly great. So, all right, that's really good. So thoughts he's murked out here is still really good. So, all right. I mean, not a bad hand from them. They interacted pretty heavily in the first few turns. Take the O-Stone and play Merc Tide. Not cool. Not cool. This is a 6-6 six, six Merc Tide. We got some looks at Tron here. All right. Pretty good hand. Interact, interact, Merc Tide. Or interact on turn one, interact on turn two, interact on turn three, and Merc Tide. Merc Tide is a silly card. All right, so we're going to uh, crack the Relic, I guess. No, I thought she cracked this. Let's have Star first. And make a green. And draw a Karn, boo. No Relic. Draw a Stirring. Tilt! Couldn't draw in the reverse order, and now we're dead. So, yeah, I mean, on the play, triple interact Merc Tide on three is pretty good. So, our hand obviously didn't pan out that well, but not gonna shock. Interesting. In for six, two cards in hand, no graveyards, chromatic star. Make a green. Cast stirrings. Woo boy. Good lord. Gigantic. And a brick on the stirrings. We get boomer, 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 whale, besaju. Oh my god, we're so dead. Alright. Not running too hot today. Uh that's okay though. Cause now we are uh we're drawing to we need to draw your Land number set number five tapped. They're at four. Two cards in hand. It's like a Wraith too. We're close to dead on board. We draw a warping well. Gross. Alright, yeah. I mean we drew about as bad as possible this game, unfortunately, so just gonna say go. And then die. We draw a natural draw on this turn. Uh they they have they they have a rule spell we still lose, but obviously we'll see. You know, I'll, I'll probably have counter spell in the next, so. Blue, Scour, playing Archmage's Charm. They just play another Merc Tide and kill us here. No? Okay, sure. So, yeah, I mean, we just, we just drew really bad this game. It's whatever. I mean, it's not a big deal. That's not a natural draw. Sure. So, pretty pretty bad. Very good draw on their part. Pretty bad draw on our part. It happens. Game three on the play. Merc Tide does kill fast. Uh, and it kills very, very quickly. Make a little noise here, huh? Opponent's gonna sideboard again. Sideboarding is for losers. Who sideboards? These wish targets on our board. I don't know. So far, we're two matches in, and uh, not really. Uh, I guess we haven't really cast card that much, but who top tops? Unbelievable. All right. So on the play, here comes Gigantha. And uh, we're going to mulligan this new lander into another uh, land star stirrings hand. We're going to keep this, though. 
Uh, I think on the draw we can't. Actually, we have, to, we have two of each cards. This is fine. Just keep this. Ship Warping Whale. Whale's pretty bad here, honestly. And we're going to just play this and play a Sphere and just say go. How's it do against Blue Red Breach? I don't know, honestly. I guess the, the Karn version is better against them because of the artifacts. Haiti stuff, kind of, maybe, sort of. But. Water Grave, they thought seize. Our hands on thought seizable for the most part. Hello. What you gonna take, opponent? Take stirring, sure. We cast Karn in the very first game. Alright, it's so a green. Stirrings. We are not drawing well. Stirrings! Are you serious? <laughs> we just can't get to break. Where the hell are we drawing lands? Alright, uh, I guess we just take a forest. Pretty crappy. And uh, we'll play forest and play stirrings. Tron land me anywhere? There's one. Woo! Alright. Uh, and we'll say... Yeah. Send me $10 and whisper the list to me. Whisper of a list? You know, upload? I, I need to need need be able to see the list on the stream, right? So, usually goldfish is the best way to do it. I, I request goldfish for deck decks. Here's Thoughtseize. Killing me today. It's Dross. So bad. So they take us. I think they take the Karn. Maybe I don't know. Star or Karn. Thoughtsies. Take Karn. Sure. I actually am happy that they, they, they took Karn. Because the hard part is. Oh, oh, whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> Bingo! Uh, right. Well, there's always that. Here's a star. And uh, let's make it green. And Bolivian Stone. Let's play Star. Let's play Tron they know about. I'm just say go. We're gonna. Maybe I should actually just cast. Just, just do it now. I don't want to draw a, a spell and get it thought seized. But if I draw one, if I draw one, I want to play it. So I just make it green. Draw like a, any one of our one drops. I want to play it here. So we don't. Okay, sure. So. Say go. Shh, we have drawn. Don't tell our opponent. We have cast like two stirrings ready and bricked, so just drawing it there is like not like particularly lucky or anything. We had to draw it eventually, right? Snapcaster Thoughtseize. Holy crap, what year is it? Pop quiz, hot shot. All right, well, now they get to see my Tron. Good thing we have this whole Gigantha here. Gigantha down here to hold a fort. Twisted resub, thanks so much. All right, Gigantha, big stupid elk. Your turn. Deal with that for a little bit, and then we'll we'll have time to draw something good. Boomer Demir versus Zoomertron. It's so weird to play Shadow and just like be only two colors because like your opponent always fetches and shocks anyway, you know. Down to seven. I guess drown the lock and kill Gigantha. They got a long way to go though. Oh nope, they're just They're gonna dismember down to three? Oh, I love it. This opponent's got got character. Dismember down to three and they have a Archmage's Charm up. Uh all right. Charm and Counterspells too. And a shadow. Oh, they have counterspell too, which is freaking dead. Uh yeah, they have counterspell too. It's so gross. Opponents are drawing very well today. Karn? I am Karn. Stubborn Denial. <laughs> yeah, alright. Well, here we go. Aspiring frickin' Spike. Aspiring Spike. I heard you were playing Goblins on a Thursday. Inconceivable! We don't do that here. Alright? That's not how we do things. What's up, Spike? How's it going, folks? My name is Shane. Welcome to play some Tron. And uh, 
Spotting spikes. It was your Monday. I guess every day is Monday if you look hard enough, right? What What is a day anyway? Who knows? But um, yeah, spotting spike. How did it go, Spike? It was a cool looking list. I liked it. A little dirty kitty action. We're so dead here. Oh, Bingo. never mind. It was bad. It was bad. Ugh. I'll make it better. Don't worry. We'll make it better. But if you're actually reading my name is Jim, hi, first hit the follow button, welcome. We're playing some Modern Tron right now. We're playing some Zoomer Tron. I personally think the card, Karin the Great Creator, is terrible in Tron. But I'm willing to admit that I'm wrong. So I'm trying out a list with the Karin in it. And uh, we're going to give a spin. And step blue, blue. Blue, 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 sure. So we're currently, uh, we're all one. We lost to, uh, we lose to round one. I don't remember. Oh, Murktide. Yeah, we drew really, we drew pretty badly. And now we're playing against Demir Shadow. We are in game, a very tight game three here, where our draws have not been very good uh, overall in this uh, in this league. But they have three cards in hand. We're kind of drawing off the top here. I'm gonna pop this bad boy. Get the Shadow out of here. Get off my plate. Go down to four, and we're gonna draw Ulamog. I'm calling my shot. Call my shot, Ulamog. I think Carl the, 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 the Grave Creator is terrible. Uh, it doesn't. It dies too easily. It's not enough for presence. It kills your sideboard. I just don't think it's good in Tron. All right, here we go. I've called Ulamog. They didn't attack for some reason. I don't know why. But we draw. Earth Star. Uh, they know we have this. So I'm going to play this. Just like, uh, why don't they attack there? Very strange. Very strange. It's like a three-turn Glock, you know? It's going to give me one, uh, one more turn. I also love Thragdust. That is true as well. Thragdust is the nut. End step. Black in the pool. Ah, what's going on? Surgical Extraction targeting Karn Liberated. Alright. So they have a counter spell, obviously. They would just they would, would draw step this. Alright. So we're drawing two. We have two Ulamogs and an Emrakul, I think. Oh my god, come on. Uh, Look out. You don't want versatility in your Tron deck. You just want freaking good cards. Like, you know, like, you can putz around with freaking liquid metal coating, or you can just kill your game opponent, you know? Like... Well, I want versatility. I want versatility. I'll play freaking, uh, I don't know, something that's like good. All right, so we're going to upkeep this uh, this warping wheel. I hope it sticks. What's up, Trey? Appreciate it. Happy to have you back. Uh, upkeep. Warping wheel, maybe, possibly. This is never going to work. This is never going to work, folks. I can't look. I can't watch. We're dead. We're dead. All right. Uh, yeah, I mean, usually Tron's pretty good against, against decks like this, but uh, not really many good draws today. We did break off pretty hard in that match, but all right. So we're one one or oh two actually. Sorry, we're back. Uh, we got deck tech also. All right, there you go. Put the link in chat, please. I'll, I'll do, it, do it after this game, and then we're gonna green. We're gonna draw another sphere. Can't cast that one, so let's play a power plant. We'll cast scrying. We'll get Besaju. Seiju, right? Yeah, probably Seiju. I don't know exactly what this Prison Tron deck does. Hopefully, there's a, there's a, there's, a, there's a, hopefully they're just Eldrazi Tron. That deck's terrible. Uh, but thanks, Jack. We'll do it after the after this match. All right, or that. Just, just gonna pack it up. Just packing it up to Seiju. Uh, we're gonna bring in. We're gonna bring in what? Like, Claim can't kill Chalice anyway, so, I mean, they're probably playing some... I'm just going to keep this as is. We need a, a Tron tier list. We'll see. This is only sets are called Hearthstone. I have an Alchemy preview. Uh, we'll, we'll do the Alchemy preview after this league. We're going to hop on over to Arena, do an Alchemy preview, and then play some more Magic, play some Standard, play another the Freshly Brewed, play a little Stork. Lots of stuff today. For those who don't know, um, I have a baby due in about two weeks. 
Also playing in the World Championship in about one month. So I have Worlds coming up and a baby coming up. I'm taking a, uh, a six-week uh, paternity slash Worlds leave. And uh, it starts uh, on Tuesday. So banging up the content. All right. Uh, we're going to mulligan saying It's terrible. And mulligan down to mine. Sanctum Sphere. We can keep this, I guess. It's not great, but... Pulls out five cards. We just have turn one, like, land star stirrings. We just find one of our Tron lands. It's, like, not great. I want to keep it. It's not great, but... Then we're going to get rid of the uh, the old Ulamog here. We'll let it ride. Thanks, folks. Appreciate it. Bottom of all, it gets to four. Worlds is... BC, Worlds is going to be played on Arena, but in person at Vegas at Magic, tw at Magic 30. It is Dominaria United Draft. Standard and Explore, which is the online version of Pioneer uh, that's just like Pioneer minus the cards that aren't on Arena yet. So, I'm very excited. $100,000 first place. Biggest event of my career. Very pumped for it. There we go. Urza's mine. Ship it. Play Sphere. They're mapping. I don't know what they're doing, honestly. Like, what's their uh, what's their deal? Play Ur Urza Sega? Sure. Sega! Untap. Upkeep, crack, map. Sure. Diet Pioneer. Fair. Fair. Relic. All right. So make it green. Power plant. Sylvan Scrying. And we're going to play a, a tower. Sigia. If you want to know about the, Ur the new Urza Planeswalker card, I got my article on CoolStuffInc.com. Talks all about it. My video on, on uh, YouTube talks all about it. Check all those out, of course. They're going to map. Tower, Chalice on one. Sure. Uh, so we can't Stirrings anymore, but whatever. We get to play a Karn the Great Creator. So we finally have to cast a Karn here. Um, the question is, what is it going to do? Probably Liquid Metal Coating. Um, Karn can also kill the Chalice, too, by plussing, which is, I guess, kind of cute. They have two cards in hand. They're going to get something off of this. Um, hmm. Karn better than Thrakdos here. If your opponent's playing uh, like an artifact, you die. Karn is better, for sure. Karn is worse against Exeter pressuring you in any way. Um, we get... We just kill the chalice. We can we can sphere stirrings and set up for next turn. We can get a uh, coating and just like port them for a turn. They can't tron us and start eating their lands. I think the, the coating is better. Let's get coating. So minus. And we're gonna get coating. And we're gonna play coating. And say go. On their upkeep, we'll make a Ursus Tower into an artifact. So they can't uh, tap for mana. <laughs> My complaint about Karn is that, like, here it's obviously pretty good. Because we're playing it, like, you know, turn three on the play or whatever. Like, some drop, whatever. It's, you know. My concern with Karn is, is how good it is on, on what's the floor. When I play the Sphere, save a Chalice on one and play. So, tap Saga for mana. They're going to go get a artifact they can't use because of Karn. Obviously, Karn's very good here, you know. So, go get a... Something? What are they, like? A needle. Sure. That works, I guess. Are they going to name needle or liquid metal coating? So, if they name Karn... I mean, if they name Karn, I still get to coat them and basically stone rain them. If they name Coating, I can still Karn and kill the Chalice, so... So they name Karn, and they play Tron, they have 5 mana, and they play Karn's Silix. So, new card, ETB stapped, players can't pay life to cast spells or activate abilities aren't mana abilities, and uh, they can destroy it, so like a really bad O-ring. I mean, o, o stone. Sure. See, if I had a Thragdusk in play, I would just kill them, right? All right, so... 
We have Blast Zone for one also. I, I, that's gross, too. I have, I have Blast Zone. So, we just Blast Zone. Oh, they can't even use this anyway, so. Yeah, this game, this, this is, uh, this game's kind of over. Um. So, we just go Blast Zone, blow up the Needle, kill their land, and the game is pretty much over. The old Natty Blast Zone draw. And we killed it. We should kill the non-tower land. And as you can see, sure. Yeah, I mean, sure. That works. Uh, very uneventful match there. Uh, one and two. Yeah, we're going to keep this. I mean, two drawn lands, star stirrings. It's close. It's not great, but it's fine. I do squats. What's the reason? What's the reason to do anything, right? Like, you know, like... Is Historic Affinity close to Modern Affinity? Uh, kind of close. That's what Modern Affinity looks like right now. I guess Urza Saga is the big difference, but... Oh, it's just like, it's just a channel point thing. It's just a fun thing to have. People can torture me. It's good, it's good. It's, it's, it's healthy for me. I hate squats, but you know. So we're going to untap and draw an Ugin. We're going to make a green. We're going to cast Stirrings and not get Spell Pierce, please. And we find all of the same Tron. <laughs> we find a full house of all the same Tron lands. Oh, we're killing it today. Um, Yeah, I guess we're just taking... <laughs> it sucks. No run goods today. No run goods today. And now we're in big trouble because, like, we have no... We didn't, we, we needed to hit Sphere, Star, Map, Good Tron Land, Forest. Those were all of our good hits there, and we missed all of them. All of them. I think Historic's the nut. We're playing Historic later. I have one fun Historic deck to play. All right, so uh, can we draw any of our goodies? Nope. <sighs> so there you go. I just drank. Every time I play poker, I draw good Tron hands. Every time I play Tron, I draw good poker hands. <laughs> Force Dodge's Chalice. You have no green cards in your deck. There are only eight green cards in your deck. You know, like, you just can't cast it. I, you, you, gotta, you gotta have a card that are more reliable than that, you know? I guess you have Gigantha. I guess you're getting this fair. That's that's fair. I didn't consider that, but... Um... Alright, I guess we just... <laughs> this sucks. Alright, um... We'll discard... I don't know, I guess Ugin? Like Tablet is not good for over, it's there's no no card over stirrings. Again, Tron is just four spheres, four star, four stirrings, four scrying, four map. That's Tron. Those 20 cards are non-negotiable. Oh, you can't you can't even have Gigantha in force. Right. Never mind. Yeah, force is bad. I was right. <laughs> Oops, I use it. I use it on. Uh, so they iteration bobble. I gotta counter that, I guess. I think I wanna kill a creature though. So, all right. So they have eight cards in their hand. We draw anything useful now. All right. It's pretty frustrating. Stun locks. What's stun lock? <sighs> mm. Obviously, have like seven counter spells in their hand or whatever. Like, so <sighs> Just discard a worm coil, I guess. Killing me. Of 
Krakatarn. Play main deck Blood Moon. I don't know, folks. People are just out to get us today. They just really are. The All Summer is fine. I have, I have two in my, in, my, in my board. Could have made a spawn, I guess. You're right. All right. Chromatic Sphere. Mega Green. Resolves. Got a green mana. Alright, let's just cast Sylvan Scrying, I guess. See what happens. Yeah. Yeah, this league, this league's not having it today. It's not having it at all. It's just bad vibes because we're uh, playing Karn the Great Karn the Great Creator, you know? That's why. Normally, the games where uh, the Murktide deck doesn't have a lot of have early threats are pretty good for us, but uh, not only draw when you draw like this. So they hit stirrings, adorable. All right, we draw sphere. Like it's turn seven. We've missed four land drops so far. Alright, we found Tron. Uh, I should I should Stirrings first, whatever is done. Play Stirrings. Tower map. Alright, split so blade map. We're like sorta of getting somewhere. I didn't count this map, but spell Oh spell man, this is brutal. Double spell pure's blood moon deck. Gross. Alright, yeah. What point of ladder would you switch to special three? The first game I play. Uh, first game I play. Dash Ragavan. This is a game one, yeah. Hit Storings again. Could cast Storings for a land, you know, or a bobble. Right, uh, say so go. Yeah, Murdoch's playing Blood Moon main now because of the all the, all the five color decks. So usually they're playing like two main. I I I, I, I gotta get Shigant. I screwed up. I'm just gonna skip. You just can't win this game. Whatever. I, I gotta get Shigant there. They have a thousand cards in their hand. We're never gonna win this game in a million years. So if I had a green source in play, I could at least draw to uh, the one Besage maybe. But all right, so we're gonna bring in like two claims. And we're going to shave down on the Ugins. Um, call it a day. Ideally, our deck will function in this next game. Um, pretty bad draws. Pretty bad draws. No worries, though. It's okay. It's cool. Doing best of one to power through bronze and silver. Why? Like, I just you just like best of one just much higher variance. Like you just you go up and down and up and down. If you win a match, you get you get double the, the wins. You get to win the whole match. Like it's just like much lower variance. I think. I think ranking up best of ones a grind. Gigantha, I choose you. And we have a one lander with a claim and a star and a mulligan that mulligan to double Tron piece star scrying. I mean. We're gonna get spell pierce in the next year. We're gonna keep keep this and ship the ship the Ulamog. The thing is that if you play best of three and you win a match two one, that's one game win in best of one and two game wins in best of two. So you get we get one notch for your you know like. Because the, the game you lost doesn't count because of the match. So, like, best of three is just, you just, you just much lower variance. Alright, so, sphere. Go. Alright, I mean, don't spell up me. You put an island, goddammit. 
Oh, we can't not play scrying here, you know? Like, they could obviously just have to consider. All right, so add a green. All right, here we go. Spell pierce me. And all right, we got Tron. We're online, folks. Consider. All right, so we've got Karn, Sphere, other Karn. We're going to just bait up here with the uh, Karn, the Great Creator, I think. Let's actually tap like this. Play Karn. Hopefully they'll counter it. Let's pave the way for our, our later threats. Give Gigantha too. Counter spell. And then we'll just, uh, we'll just Gigantha here, I think. We could, uh, we could, um, could star, say go, but. I, we have three Eldrazi. I, I didn't bring in the uh, Kozilek. That was stupid. Oops, whatever. Uh, we have three Eldrazi cast triggers in our deck, so. You gonna moon me? Nope. Channeler. Right, so we're gonna untap, and we're going to draw a Relic. Relic's actually a great draw. Excellent draw. Relic. Exile a card. We're a sphere. Make it green. Draw a worm coil engine. Uh, we're starting Gigantha here. Let's play Gigantha. Like, they kind of have to counter it. It's just like a big idiot. And we have a mana up for Relic, which is kind of cool. They don't counter it great. It's a 5 5. It's hard to kill. They're going to consider in response. Sure. Bin Shredder. So we're probably going to just uh, crack this Relic on their upkeep or their draw step so they can't uh, play a Merktide. End step. Unholy heat. Poor predictable Bart always takes rock. I mean, yeah, I, sure. <laughs> Crack the relic in response. Oh, I should have this. I should have this resolved. I was just so excited they screwed up. Whatever. Uh, yeah, whatever. I was just so happy. It's like, yeah, sure, go nuts. So they have one extra card in the graveyard they shouldn't have. My bad. So they have four cards in hand and a channeler. I have a 5-5. Five, five. The 5-5 five, five taps are green too, which is kind of cool. And you got four mana for a Jace the Mind Sculptor. Alrighty then. Shields are down. Time to cast things. Leaves a card on top. And they're gonna they're gonna brainstorm and not bounce Gigantha. Also interesting. Huh. Untap. Draw Karn the Great Creator. What does that do for us? Um it's pretty happy just to play Karn Liberated, minus on channeler, attack and kill Jace. I mean, I don't think Murktai plays Force. If they do, then I guess good for them, right? But, um, for... I guess if I play Karn, if they do have Force, I can still be able to play the Worm Coil Engine also. I can play Karn and get Ballista. That works too. 
Let's play, uh, let's play Karn. I am Karn. Force me. They don't play force. I get, I get the, uh, I'll get Ballista. Just play the land, kill this thing, kill, kill Jace, have Ballista on two and play. What do you got, friend? Buddy, pal. Storm counts one, in case you were wondering. Subtlety, sure, that's fine, I guess. So subtlety, exiling Shredder. This puts Karn on top of my deck. And then, uh, like I said, we'll attack the Jace and play a, car, a Worm Coil. Don't see how they're ever winning this game, so... Play Viseju, play Worm Coil, and Sigio. GLHF, one card in hand, Jace the Mind Sculptor. Brainstorm. Can one boomer planeswalker bail them out? Jace ain't that good. Is Jace even a top five planeswalker anymore? No, right? It's like not even close, I don't think. Oko. It's a fairy time raveler. It's fairy hero dominaria. Narset. Um... Chandra? Oh, Ren and Six. Duh, yeah, Ren and Six. That's five. Play Bobble, play Ragavan. Chat's all over that. Chat's like, Ren, Ren, Ren! Ren, Ren, Ren! All right, so... Draw Bobble. Untap. We have Karn again. Oh, this time we have no second spell to play if they counter it. So we're going to play other Karn. Manx and Boo is really good. Really, really good. This resolves. I'm just going to uh to exile the Ragaban and attack the Jace. Like, we're in no rush to end this game. But just like kill kill Jace. They just have nothing. Like, how are they ever gonna win, you know? Wandering Ever better than Narset? Uh, I don't know if I buy that. Wandering Ever is fine, but I wanna play a Minx deck in Legacy, but the card's so expensive that my my loan program won't even give it to me. So I have a cool legacy like uh, queued up to play. It's um, it's like legacy gruel Nick fit. Like this like looks so freaking cool, but I can't afford the minks at the moment because the I, I I can't afford them. the loan the loan program doesn't have them. So uh, so we got Merc died. Let's bring Kozlik like, in. I should have brought the brother in probably. Then we'll cut um, we'll cut what. Kind of just want everything, honestly. Claims, Blast Zone, Sanctum, Karn, Worm Coil. It's better than Evercool. Eh. Whatever. Ashiok? Ashiok's like a sideboardy card, you know, but. Cut an O Stone? Eh. O Stone's good against counter spells. That's the thing, it's like O Stone's, it's just like, you get it to like, you know, 9, 10 mana, and you cast an O Stone. And they have to counter it, or they kill all their crap. They counter it, you still have seven left over, you cast Karn. You know, so having an O-Stone gives you a variety in your mana cost, which is very, very important. Alright, so... We've got land, land, sphere, sphere, threats. Ugh, that's not great. Not a great hand. Um... Put them all against a six. <sighs> a lot of we're gonna, we're gonna mulligan this. Yeah, I gotta have some mulligan. Just, it's freaking freaking Tron. Just mulligan. Oh my god, nice mulligan, idiot. Right, we're, we're mulligan again. Mulligan. All right, keep this. We have stirring star mine. I'm gonna ship both boom booms. Trying to keep the cheap cards. So we have 
Turn one, star. Turn two, stirrings and a relic so that I'm died, which is fine. Please don't play a Ragavan. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, well, a very, very polarizing matchup. If they have to run Ragavan, their win percent goes up by like 20% in this matchup, so we can't remove it. If they don't have it, I think we're like fine. But if they do have it, it's like real, real bad. Just gonna stop my upkeep here. Show me their Ragavan. Please allow me to take my turn. You have no effects on my upkeep. I swear to God. Somebody's playing a prank on me. <sighs> Still a piece of garbage. The amount of, amount of time of my life I've wasted sitting on my own upkeep is astounding. All right, play this. Play Star Sigo. Four cards and end. Like a rag around the play is just disgusting against us. That's why I had two gut shots on my board. All right, so they hit a map from me. They play a channel. Yeah, this is like this is the kind of hand where like it's very very hard to win as as the Tron player against Murktide. Uh. Make green. It may, may miss the land drop, I guess, though. There's always that, but I mean, they have all spells in their hand. They're just Sylvan scrying. Ugh. Don't usually want to scrying for a land if you don't know it's there. I should cast, cast stirrings. Cast stirrings. Look for uh, one of the, one of our two other Tron lands. Where's the rag dusk? I agree. Where are they? Don't you spell pierce me. Don't you do it. Oh my god, opponent. Come on. Do the play the game. Just play the game. All right. We hit no Tron lands again? God. We just can't win today. Uh, We had a map. I guess we map. That sucks. Uh, Earth of a Relic. Yeah, sure. So, any order. We play Forest, which is just terrible. Play Map, say Go. Yeah, just abysmal, abysmal draws today. They have four to telegraph the last turn. I mean, or, or they're just playing slow. You know, like, it's one or the other. Like, a third Dragon Rage Channeler? Jeez. Two cards left. About to be three. Scryland. Nah, jumps, jumps are gone. Attack for this much. Map for Blast Zone. We don't have mana to do that. We're at 15 now. Relic at least buys time. It just comes down to like how many counter spells they have. And they've obviously been, been, uh, been missing land drops. They have all spells in their hand, which is really bad. So get Power Plant, play land. Um... I think we play Sphere over Relic. Relic doesn't actually do anything this turn. I want to add more green and mana for next turn. Play Sphere. We're still, like, kind of jiving right now. You know, we're not dead yet. Play Consider, sure. This is going to be an attack for 8, probably. Bin Shredder, Bin Land. Bin Heat. No Delirium yet. Ah, oh, that's Delirium. Alright. So, we take a whole bunch, and they still have spells in their hand. Yeah, we're probably just dead here. The mana advantage from Eternal Rag Advantage is too, just, just too gross. Heh! <laughs> They hit a card. Which actually is castable. Like, they could just cast this and turn on my spear and stuff, but they, they declined to. It means they definitely have counter spells, so. Thanks, Bjorn. Appreciate it. Azoria, just got your Esper control. What's better? I don't know. Honestly, I'm not sure. All right. I'm going to make it green. And uh, we draw Forest. Gross. All right. We play Scrying. They're going to counter it. We'll play Relic and get to Relic them. No, it resolves. Wow. Uh. 
So I get to play tower. I can't. I can't actually do anything with the tower. I guess so. Um, blast zone is so slow at the moment. Yeah. All right. Get tower. Play tower. Play relic. They might just counter miss. Honestly. They do have lethal, so. Blast zone, we can't activate it, so what's the point in getting it? We, we, we need Tron. Like, we can't afford to spend our entire next turn killing their things and, and, and storing ourselves. Because uh, we're just dead this turn, so. Yeah, this, this, is a good, this is a good play for them, I think. This is a heads up play. Just counter us now, and then I just can't win. I have to, like, draw into another relic, I guess. Uh, let me get to play Sphere. And our, our only out is the one other relic. So we didn't draw it. Yeah. All right. All right. We're going to put a put a lid on the old Tron skis here. Uh -huh. No more Tron. No more Tron. So we went, we went one and three. And uh, I mean, we definitely drew very badly. But the super like low to the ground Merc Tide and the Demir Shadow deck uh, do get under you pretty well, and I just think Karn's terrible, and, well, I don't know, I don't know what to tell you, whatever. <laughs> um, yeah. Tron is, uh, not what it used to be, unfortunately. It's a sad day, it's a sad day, but we're gonna play some more on stream, but YouTube folks love you, like, comment, subscribe. What are you gonna do?